Hello, 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 hello. Welcome back to Just Bus 5. And if it is your first time here on my channel, my name is Jessica. And once a week, we discuss different topics regarding marriages. Now, on today's topic, I would like to talk a little bit about long distance relationship. On that note, I'm going to give you a little bit of story about how Max and I um, started dating and started talking and got married. It was a long distance relationship. So I know a lot of people are going through this type of relationship. It's really, it's really hard to be honest. It's really hard. Uh, but if the both of you are serious with what you are trying to do, what you are trying to accomplish in your relationship, you will always find a way to make it work. There are two, there are two things that I think for me worked tremendously it worked great it worked good so the first thing is communication i know we talked about communication a couple of weeks back in this channel communication is extremely important when you are in this long distance relationship communication is your friend you need to learn how to communicate you need to learn to conversate you need to learn how to have an adult conversation with your partner. You need to learn how to be open. You need to learn how to tell him your feeling, tell him how you're feeling, Ex explain to him uh, how things are going on in your life, explain to him everything that's going on in your head. Communication is your best friend in sp this specific type of relationship. Communication is key. Communication is important because most of the things that you two will be doing, communication has to be involved. Like, even if you are upset for whatever reason, you need to communicate that feeling. You need to communicate your, your you know, why you're mad. You need to communicate everything. Don't let him guess. Don't let her guess. Communicate. The other thing is trust. If you don't trust her or if you don't trust him, um, that long distance relationship is not really something that, that's going to work well for you. Because if you don't have trust, you're going to spend days and days making up things in your head and thinking she's doing this, he's doing that. Trusting each other is a key component for you to have a steady and good long distance relationship. It's, it's really, really important. One of the things that, and I, I think I spoke about this uh, a couple weeks back when uh, I said that when Max was in Dallas, Max lived in Dallas while I lived in Phoenix, right? But every time I'm going somewhere or if there is a party or if I will just not be around, if I won't be home, wherever I'm going, I'll just have a conversation with them. Hey, this is what I'm doing. This is where I'm going. This was even prior to us being engaged. This was prior to us. It, it was, it just started right at the beginning of our, um, uh, of our relationships. When we think, when we started thinking that, okay, this relationship is leading to something serious, we started opening up and telling each other, you know, everything. Okay. I'm going this, I will be home at this time. I'm coming home. I'm doing, it's just when we're talking, I'm telling him things. He's telling me things. It, it's very important. It works out fine. And if there is something that you're not, you're not agreeing with, make sure you, you communicate, you know, politely, you communicate, you, you tell him, you tell her what's going on, what you're not happy about, how you guys can think of a plan to fix certain behaviors. Those things are very important. If you don't have that good communication, your relationship is, is, is not really going well. It's not going to go well. Now, trust is the other thing. You need to trust each other. You really need to trust each other. You know, between Phoenix and Dallas, it's a, it's you look, it's a long distance. If I don't trust him, it's just going to make everything complicated. If you don't trust me, it doesn't trust me. It's going to make everything complicated. So to avoid all of that, you need to trust. And trust is something that someone earns, you know? You can't just start trusting someone just like that. They need to earn your trust. 
you know you need to earn their trust too so it's it's those two things that i think you need to have now long distance relationship is tough it's tough now when i remember when we were dating one other thing that worked out for me that i think it was beneficial for both of us is that we were still in school right so i had time to focus on school i had time to focus on my uh my my exams and everything so that he he also had time to focus on school and do all of that before we really got into the same place because i it could have just been a lot of distraction if we were together it could it could have so not necessarily that when you are together in a non uh not long distance relationship is a distraction but it worked out it worked out for us now how max and i met is a long very long story but i'm gonna make it short for you so first of all max max is my brother's friend my brother patrick and um this is their friendship didn't start here in the u.s they went to we all actually went to the same school we went to the same school back home in the congo we went to lupio and so i i remember i used to tease my brother i used to tell him hmm your skinny friend with these little eyes, he thinks he's all that. And my brother will just disregard any comments that I make, right? And um, little did I know that I'm gonna end up with the skinny guy with little eyes. So when we left Congo in 2003, in 2003, we left Congo. My brother and I came to, to uh, Tucson, Arizona with my mom and dad. And um, I remember this day like it was yesterday my uh it was february 24 of 2004 february 24 of 2004 uh the house phone rang my brother picked up the phone he couldn't talk it was also i should say it was also the day our father passed away so when he picked up the phone he couldn't talk he just let the phone he left the phone on the table so i grabbed the phone and max on the phone he said but how come how come he just dropped the phone is there problems what's going on and so i had to tell him no he's not he's not able to talk to you right now you know we just lost our dad so it's uh it's probably not a good time um for you to talk to him but i'm sure he'll get back to you at some point that was our very first conversation very first conversation was on that specific day there's no way, there's no way I can forget that day. Now, after uh, after a couple months, he called back again. Again, he got me on the phone. And he was calling a landline. And um, he asked for my cell phone number. I give it to him. I give it to him. And then maybe a year or two later, two thousand three, two years later, um with technology and all that uh, on the internet we started talking again and then we noticed okay this relationship might be might be going somewhere uh so i told him look uh, you're my brother's friend uh i don't know if you realize that i don't know how my brother is gonna take this relationship i have no idea how he's gonna react um and so he told me he said don't worry um, I was under 18. I should say that I was under 18. That's a key thing. So he said, don't worry. I'm going to have a conversation with them. But at this time, I, I don't think he'll be okay with me having that kind of conversation. So I'm going to wait uh, a little bit. So he waited, of course. And then uh, he said, I'll handle that. I'll talk. I will talk to him. I said, okay, no problem. You do that. When I turned 18, I remember he uh, he came to Phoenix for the first time. He came to Phoenix and he came to have a conversation with my brother. I was just like, look, man, I don't know how this is going to go again. My brother and I never had no kind of relationship conversation. Okay, so I'm not sure. I can't tell you how how he will react. So you on your own with your conversation. 
So he said, no, I, I'm going to talk to him man to man and then uh, uh, we'll be fine. So they went for a walk. They went for a walk and uh, I guess he, he told him everything that he needed to know. And he, they came back home. They came back home fine. And that same day, um, it, Max had to take his flight back to Dallas. Patrick and I, my brother, we took him to the airport. And then I'm just thinking, oh my God, this way back home. I don't know what he's gonna tell me. We drove back home. He said no word regarding this relationship. We talked about everything else. He mentioned nothing. Okay, and I'm like, should I ask? So did Max even say something? What was going on? A good two, three days later, my brother calls me in this in this room and say, hey, I had a conversation with Max, so I know what's going on. I'm just gonna tell you this. I'm gonna tell you what I told him. You two need to be serious in this relationship. I don't wanna hear stories. You guys have to respect each other. I don't wanna hear drama. You guys have to be adult. I don't wanna hear anything there are, um, we're dealing with two uh, respect, respectful families here. So I don't want any drama. I don't want anything. So if you two are taking this relationship seriously, you have my blessing. If this is a joke to the both of you, uh, you're gonna see another side of me. I was just like, okay. I hear you, bro. And so that, that's how it went. Um, he was very um, understanding. Um, he was very understanding. I, I don't want to say that that's not what I expected from him because he's very, um, he's a very quiet person too. And I'm talking about my brother. He's a very quiet person and he was very understanding but at the same time, he also gave me advices. He made it clear to me that if we're going to go this route, it has to be a serious relationship, nothing less than that. Uh, if we're not ready, if we're not serious, we need to end this mess right now. So he was really clear about it. And I appreciate that so much from him because it's not every big brother um, who will just take it has, okay, my you're dating who? My friend. But he was very understanding of that. But key thing to remember here, though, uh, is that, one, communication is important in a long-distance relationship. Two, trust is highly, highly important. If you don't have those two things, you are, I don't want to say that you're wasting your time, but I want to say that you're not taking it serious just yet. All right, so this was long distance relationship in marriages and a little bit of my background, my story with Mag. So stay tuned. We will we'll be talking about how COVID impacted our family uh, and uh, hard day-to-day -day routine here at home. All right, we'll see each other next. Wednesday, share, like, and subscribe. Bye-bye.